back with another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i cleared up my skin in like a month first of all i just want to say my skin is not perfect like it is not perfect like these freaking pimples literally just came this morning okay and and my forehead is just going through it you know so my skin is not a hundred percent perfect and I, I don't think it will ever be a hundred percent perfect because my skin is very acne prone sensitive and freaking dry so i got sensitive acne prone dry skin which is like what terrible like what literally my face literally get pimples all the time literally all the time and it's so annoying so i want to say thank you to hiram thank you and a few other tiktokers um just thank you like they really got me together as you guys can see by the thumbnail it was the before and then the after so this side of my face is like pretty you know clear you know then this side is doing all right right now like like i said i got a few little pimples right there because those literally just came yesterday which is so annoying and then my forehead right here we're working on that right now you guys can see it's a little congested yeah let's just jump right into this video okay so let me put this out there first um everything that i use may not work for your skin so just do your own research on everything before you purchase everything trust me i learned that the hard way wasted some money which so annoying but uh yeah so just do research for your own skin uh know your own skin types and stuff because what might work for me when i work probably would not work for you just like what works for somebody else did not work for me you know can we just get inside this little <laughs> this little slick moment real quick y'all i look like a free brown egg head shaped like an airpod it's just all over the place okay but i want to show some pictures and videos of my skin so i'm going to put some videos and stuff on the screen of my skin before like child it was just a mess after i started using these products um my skin was purging you know uh that's pretty normal your skin purges basically purging is when your skin is introduced to a new active ingredient so it's gonna just purge so basically little Pimples or even big pimples will come, but they go away like really quick. Oh, well, mine did a little bit. It took about like, I want to say like almost a month for the purging to like go away. But it wasn't like my face was covered in acne. It was like a uh, pimple will, will come and go. They'll like come and go like overnight. Like you can see like the, uh, the pus and white stuff. Like literally the next day and it was like gone, vanished. So that was for me though all right so let's start with uh cleansers obviously you need a very good cleanser that is not stripping but gets your skin clean so the cleanser that i use in the morning is this cerave y'all know the brand amazing literally amazing literally sold out everywhere which i'm so glad i i got everything before everything was sold out you know but uh yeah so this is the foaming facial cleanser this is for normal to oily skin which i like i said i have dry skin i don't have oily skin so i use this one because this one's very very good it gets your skin clean when i say clean y'all your my fist my skin feels so freaking good after it just feels so so good and it's not stripping either so it doesn't make your skin dry yeah what this one says it cleanses and removes oil without disrupting the protective skin barrier and this has three essentials in it ceramides it got niacinamide and hyaluronic acid which is amazing product so yeah i really do love this one i got this from amazon you can get it from target walmart i believe you know just regular like drugstore stuff but i got this one from amazon because oh because i didn't feel like going to target because i feel like it was gonna be sold out because literally TikTok, Hiram, you done wiped the shelves off. CeraVe need to be thanking you. Like, seriously, you need to get paid by CeraVe because you got them. You got they. You got them skyrocketing, okay? And then uh, this one right here, this CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser, which the SA stands for Salicystic 
acid and basically that is a very good acid to uh, help with pimples you know get rid of um, pimples bumps or whatever uh, yeah so I use this one at night I use this one at night probably like once every or twice a week probably like twice a week I'll use this here and there you know at night I started off using this every morning and night which was just too much for my skin so I switched to uh, twice a week and that's just perfect you know it keeps my bumps under control keeps the pimples under control you know once I clean my skin with the foaming cleanser or the salicylic oh my gosh that word acid uh, cleanser I go in with this snail bee high content skin toner oh my gosh this literally is one of the best toners literally ever this will have your skin so hydrated you know how some toners literally dry your skin out like witch hazel i was i was trying that for like i want to say a month and that that just wasn't it. it would literally dry my skin out like i thought that was normal though i thought that toner was supposed to do that but it's not so yeah that would literally dry my skin out so witch hazel is freaking terrible for my skin and for other people's skin too this is made in korea which you guys know korea they just basically ahead in freaking skincare like they're just ahead and everything so if you can get your hands on some korean products then get your hands on some you know yeah so best toner ever i love this toner and it wasn't expensive either that's the thing so i would just put this on my um palms i would just squirt some in my palms and then i would just do like this and i would just pat it all over my skin until it's like all over my skin and then i would just let it like dry for like a second then i was going with the next product now i didn't use a cotton pad to put it on because i feel like i didn't need it to be honest and i didn't feel like wasting cotton pads so so now we're gonna go in with my serums okay now i'm pretty sure a, a lot of people use this a lot i know a lot of people they it's sold out everywhere the ordinary okay now the ordinary is a great freaking skincare brand just amazing like I used to use the Ordinary. I, I think I used like two products by the Ordinary before, but I wasn't educated on the Ordinary at all. I just picked up the products. And they did my, uh, like I had the um, caffeine under eye thing. And then I ran out and I just stopped using it for some reason, which I freaking need to <laughs> use it some more. But the serums that I use right now is a, a hyaluronic acid, a 2% plus B5. So I use that. And then I use the uh, niacinamide 10% uh, plus, plus zinc 1. So, yeah. Um, unfortunately, I think that like most of the uh, ordinary products are unfortunately sold out from, again, TikTok, Hiram, you done did it again, sweetie. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they're mostly sold out. I'm so glad I stocked up though, because um, I got these ones that you can see, they're almost freaking gone then i got uh, other ones so i'm fine but i stopped up because sweetie i wasn't about to do it i was like you know what this is about to get sold out i know if you can get your hands on the ordinary then get it but if you can't i am so freaking sorry you just have to wait till they get back in stock and just be the first one to get it you know basically i would go in with the hyaluronic um acid right after my uh toner because this gives me more hydration and it honestly like gives me a little plump to my skin like it makes my skin feel really plump and good you know so i'll go in with that and then after the hyaluronic acid i will use the niacinamide and the niacinamide the niacinamide helps with pimples and it um reduces any redness or uh, blemishes and it also helps with congestion in your skin so i'll go in with that so i will just put a little bit on my uh fingertips and i'll rub it in my fingertips a little bit then i'll pat you know and it might foam up the hyaluronic and the niacinamide it might foam up a little bit but that's okay just keep on patting it into your skin until it stops foaming and then i rub it in my skin so those are the serums 
that I use. Then right after the serums, I use my moisturizer. Now I have the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This literally is the best moisturizer I have ever used in my life. Um, before I used to use this, um, I used to use this actually a lot, then I stopped. Then I used some other moisturizer that had a lot of freaking fragrance in it, which fragrance is not good at all for my skin. Like literally, literally one of the main problems probably because literally every single product that I had before all of this was fragrant stuff smelled amazing you know but it was terrible for my skin so uh yeah so this right here is very good it's just very basic it doesn't have a lot in it it has um ceramides and hyal hyaluronic acid in it it moisturizes and helps restore the protective skin barrier so yeah I just really love this so much it's very lightweight and you don't need a lot either. You literally squirt one little thing and just put it all over your face and, and your neck. Don't forget your neck. Okay, literally amazing moisturizer. I will never ever stop using this. Look how big this bottle is, y'all. It will last you for a very long time. After I rub that into my skin, I will go in with a oil. So some people don't use oils, but um, you can if you want to. I use oils because like I said, my skin is freaking dry. It needs some... Some type of, you know, something, okay? Because if I don't use oils, my skin will literally look grayed out. Like, it will be gray and I don't like it. So, in the morning, I use this 100% derived squalene oil by The Ordinary. So, I will go in with this oil in the morning. I love, when I say I love this oil, yo, oil is so freaking amazing. It's literally so lightweight. When I tell you it's so lightweight and it just sinks into your skin so well it's not heavy you know how some oils they literally just sit on top of your skin and do nothing no this sinks into your skin and just feels so freaking good but i will use this one in the morning i will just uh squirt a couple of drops in my hand do like this then just put it all over my skin and my neck you know then at night i will use this 100 percent organic cold press um rose hip seed oil by the ordinary you know now rose hip seed oil is supposed to get rid of um hyperpigmentation which i don't know if i really had it before but i know that i started to get it like on my forehead a little bit so i will use this um sometimes every night probably like two to three times a week at night and if i'm not using this i'll just go in with the squalene oil because i freaking love this oil so much but um yeah i'll use the rose hip oil all right now after that i will go in with my sunscreen in the morning now y'all probably like sunscreen like what why are you wearing sunscreen you're black Ugh, i hate when people say that like child shut the fuck up we still need sunscreen get your sunscreen okay so i use this sunscreen by black girl sunscreen it is black owned and it is literally the most amazing sunscreen ever because it does not leave a white cast now a lot of sunscreens leave white casts which not it so please do your research before um you purchase a sunscreen to see if it leaves a white cast and see if it's actually good but yeah so i love this one black girl sunscreen you use, use it on your face and your body it really doesn't matter but uh yeah this is spf 30 and it is infused with jojoba and avocado oil at first i was a little bit concerned because of the uh, jojoba and avocado um oil you know i was like i don't know if that would be too much oil for my skin but it's not it's fine and yeah this is just amazing i'm wearing it right now you know i don't have anything on my skin by the way no makeup no nothing you know not even blush i don't have anything i just have my skin on you know so i'm wearing it right now it does leave me a little bit shiny like a little bit shiny it really doesn't bother me that much but um yeah if you don't like that shininess then uh you know try another one but uh yeah it had and it has no fragrance you know that is key all of these products are fragrance free bt up so or have little like very minimal fragrance in it which is very good but yeah black girl sunscreen go get it it's black owned too and it is literally amazing you can find it at target or you can go to like their actual website and get it i got mine from target you know i think it only was like 18 dollars i believe which is really cheap for a very good sunscreen you know some sunscreens be expensive they might be like 30 dollars i'll be like and it'd be so little i'll be like hey child 
calm down you're doing too much yeah so i will use this in the morning obviously i don't use it at night because there's no point there's no sun out at night so don't waste it in the morning on sunscreen should be the last step in your skincare routine in the morning always you know never put anything on top of this unless you put on makeup or something that's completely fine but don't put any more skincare products on top of sunscreen this should be the last step got it and the only step and wear it inside the house too it does not matter you know i'm in the house already 24 7 i don't go out anywhere but i always have my window open you know i always let sunlight in my room so yeah even if it's raining no sun out at all cloudy day literally been every single day in florida annoying i still wear i just wear this every single day just don't forget okay and i love this one because it's basically like a moisturizer hold on yeah oh see it it's basically like a moisturizer very good i'm actually use this for my hands right now i've got to put some on my hands but yeah as you can see it's just very light you know yeah so it feels really good like just literally just please wear your sunscreen okay i feel like that's helped me a lot too because um suns because the sun is like the main thing but like for my skin or people's skin in general the sun is like the main problem you know it increases hyperpigmentation dark spots everything y'all it's just the the sun ain't it for us okay the sun ain't it all right so now i just want to move on to some exfoliant that i will use like once every uh week here and there so uh the first one that i really just love and i know that physical exfoliation is not really good for your skin but like i love this one so much it is the uh peter thomas worth roth uh yeah peeling gel exfoliation now i showed you guys this on my channel before i don't know i just really love this one and it's super gentle you know it's 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 not like a harsh scrub this one is really gentle when i say it's really gentle like it's so gentle like yes yeah, so i'll just put a little bit on my uh fingers and i'll just rub that into my skin it's super gentle you know i love this so much it literally makes my skin glow right after and it it just gets rid of you know all the dead, dead skin and everything i really do love the, this exfoliant now i don't know if this has any fragrance in it because it don't have no directions on it probably had it on the box which i don't have the box anymore obviously but i've been using this for probably almost a year and i still have it y'all it's still a lot in here when i tell you to, you don't need a lot you only need a tiny bit and just rub it into your skin so yeah i love this one and then the new one i started using was this paula's choice um liquid exfoliant now um this one when i tell you i just started using this one and i use it like probably twice a week actually when i tell you this one right here makes my skin so glowy and soft after i'm like whoa child wait a minute wait a minute i kind of like you you know a lot of people use this for the little tiny bumps on their forehead as you guys can see or just tiny bumps on their face period that you can't really get rid of like kind of like fungal acne kind of you know which i kind of have up on my forehead which is unfortunate and then last but not least i want to show you guys my makeup remover or when i like double cleanse sometimes and i use the uh garnier um micellar water with the pink cap uh the pink cap is very for sensitive skin which i have um yeah so this was just removes uh your makeup so i, just, I would just put this on a cotton pad and then just you know wipe my makeup off and then just uh wash it off and then continue with the rest of my skincare when i um dry my face off i actually use paper towels i know paper towels are very 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 freaking wasteful but um i can't use cloths because cloths hold on a lot of freaking bacteria and just putting that on my face every single day is just not it and even if you wash it got the still got detergent on it and this stuff and it's just not it for my skin you know so i switched over to these i've been switched over to these actually for like um months now so they've been doing my skin great i just love to dry off my skin with i only use one i only use one uh paper towel to dry off my skin so yeah okay so that is my routine and everything that i use now we're gonna go on to the products that i bought and wasted my money on and stuff i just did not vibe with my skin was just like nope stop it right now you know my skin just wasn't vibing first i want to start off with this cerave cleanser right here okay 
this one right here now this cleanser actually do many many people's skin wonders like i've seen it it does many people's skin wonders but not for mine um this one is the hydrating facial cleanser uh you know and the reason i didn't really like this because i felt like it wasn't cleansing my skin um enough you know so this one comes out very gel like like i'll show you like very like gel like and it doesn't foam up at all and i didn't like that it wasn't cleaning my skin at all and i will say this was very hydrating though like when when i took this off my face my skin was super hydrated but yeah i just didn't like it because it just wasn't um cleansing my face uh, like that so I just stopped uh, using this and just used the foaming one which is amazing but yeah I've seen this do people's skin wonders and it says normal to dry skin which I have dry skin um yeah it just didn't do my wonders it just wasn't very cleansing you know if I if I were to use this I'll literally have to go in with another cleanser just to do like an extra cleanse and get everything off my skin next we have um the CeraVe um SA salicylic uh, lotion for rough and bumpy skin okay so yeah so first of all this product it was a lot of debate on if you can use this on your uh, face or if it's just your body now unlike the um on like Amazon it literally says only for your body like and then a lot of people actually incorporated this in their skincare routine and did them wonders made your skin super soft so if you got rough and bumpy skin which was my skin at first you know and then i was using this for for about i would say two weeks and it just wasn't it i don't know i didn't really like it so i just stopped using it and then i started noticing my pimples started just going away like as soon as i stopped using this you know a lot of people said it stung in their skin like it made their skin so irritated but not for me, it didn't do that. It just didn't really do anything for me, you know? It didn't make my skin smooth, you know? So, uh, yeah, this was a no-go. My skin did not vibe with this one. Next, we got this um, Nizerol, uh anti-dandruff shampoo. Y'all probably like, child, what? So, a lot of people use this for their tiny bumps on their forehead or just on their face period just the tiny bumps i wouldn't go away fungal acne you know a lot of people use this now i was using this for about like two weeks and it just did nothing for me like literally nothing at all like everything was still there i was like okay like what's going on like it literally did nothing to me. i did not see any difference over time so uh, i stopped using this and i just started doing my normal skincare routine that i just showed you guys and literally it's starting to clear up like it's fine you know so yeah this just wasn't it for me at all now some of y'all probably be real mad at me and some of y'all was like child what i've seen this i've seen this do wonders for people's skin um but not for mine it just wasn't for mine it was this ordinary you know the the blood the blood mask you know everybody on tiktok has this and does wonders to seem like everybody's skin but mine i'm like what the heck so um yeah this is the um aha 30 percent bha 2 percent peeling solution it is a exfoliant so exfoliate your skin and it is a face mask okay so basically i started actually using this product way before it got like super popular on tiktok way before Hiram even came to tiktok way before any like estheticians or dermatologists was actually reviewing this product and actually showing you how to use this product properly it was just basically teenagers um showing you how to use this you know without any education so they would really put this on their face for 30 minutes and do it every single day so i just followed theirs so i'm like okay it did wonders for their skin so maybe i can do that to mine you know and this was like i want to say back like january sometime you know so i started doing that i, I will literally put this on my face for probably like 20 minutes which is too long every single day every single day oh my god now that i'm now that i'm t like talking about it, i'm like wow um yeah basically this just burned my skin literally burned my skin like it it gave me burnt marks over here on my it just burnt my skin burned it so i i was like oh this product sucks i do it I, I just put it away. I was like, this product sucks. I don't want to ever see this product again. People lying. They're lying, okay? And then, 
um after my skin cleared up from the burn marks you know the burn marks went away after it cleared up and everything um uh all of the estheticians uh Hiram you know skin specialists uh dermatologists started coming out and telling you how to use this product properly so I was like okay let me give it a try again okay uh, so I gave it a try again for about like three weeks and to be honest, I just I just I just wasn't feeling it. it wasn't really doing anything for me like um yeah and I think it was just too harsh on my skin still because it still burnt my skin even though I did it uh, for um, 10 minutes for about once a week and it still irritated my skin to death so uh, yeah like I said my skin is very sensitive so you know hey you guys so that is it for this video um, I hope this video really helped you guys like I said my skin is not freaking perfect like look I have you know I still have imperfections you know everybody's skin is not gonna be perfect everybody's skin is different also you know what I'm saying so basically skincare is basically just like you, a tr you try it basically trial and error you gotta try it and if you don't like it or if it doesn't work oh well you know so yeah it, it really goes a lot into this and you have to be patient because at first i was like oh my gosh child these pimples need to go like, hurry up like i'm like hurry up but you have to wait until the ingredients actually work you know it takes like probably like two weeks for the ingredients to actually like start working you know so but it is very very glowy and i am happy i'm i'm so happy at of like where it's at right now you know what i'm saying i'm i'm very happy at first i did not even want to take pictures like i didn't take pictures for a grip because of my skin i just i just didn't like it at all okay and i do want to say you're not ugly because you have acne you're not ugly because your skin's bad okay that thing is just whoever said that was just stupid and acne or having bad skin is freaking normal okay i'll have um everything that i can a link in the description box down below like i said the ordinary and cerave is most likely sold out but if they're um not i'll link it down below for you guys okay if you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching Toodles.